Hey y'all, Miss Rona here. Um, we have been working through the Suzuki Violin School Book One, and so uh, the next song in the book, if you've got your book with you, is "Song of the Wind." Okay, um, I know this is going to be backwards, but um, "Song of the Wind" has a couple of little bowing tricks you might want to say um techniques that i wanted to go over with you um one of which if you look at your very first uh very first line here all the way to the end you're going to see this kind of a squidly looking line that's going to be considered a rest and what we're going to be doing here and specifically in this song um whenever we get to this rest we're going to make a circle bow, okay? And what I mean by circle bow is if you're holding your bow and when you get to this place, which would be you're going to make a circle with your bow, okay? And you're basically going to pick your bow up, bring it back up to the frog, and you're ready to start again. The reason that we do that is if you look at your music, um, the last note that you will play, your bow is going to be going down. And then the very next line that you start on that first note will give you a little, I like to call a little top hat, like the magicians wear. But um, it will be a little, a little funny little thing there, and it signifies for you to put your, put your bow in the downward direction again, okay? And the only way we're going to be able to do that is if we make a circle bow, all right? Um, before I go into the rest of this song with you, um, at the very end of this song is a repeat. And whenever you get to the repeat, that means you're going to start the song all over again. This is kind of new. Uh, so for those of you that have been working through with me from the very beginning of this series, um, this is going to be something a little different where you'll get to repeat the song and play the song again. And you'll only play it one time through. Um, so I'm going to play the song through one time. And whenever I get to that repeat section, I want you to hear out that I'm going to start the song again. Okay. Song of the Wind. Repeat. Now, before we conclude, I'm going to play this song again, um, but I want you to take a look at some more places where you'll have a circle bow, okay? You'll have a circle bow here where there's a, a rest. You'll have another circle bow here where there's a rest. And then there's actually another little quick circle bow. I want to see if you can kind of find it. At the very bottom, in the very bottom line, there are two little top hats. Can you see them? Two little top hats. So in between those two notes down there, you're going to have to make one more last circle bow really quick, okay? And then, of course, when you get to the repeat section, uh, you're going to give it a circle bow, a big one, to start the song again, okay? All right, I'm going to play this song again one more time. You're welcome to follow along with me. And I want you to see if you can watch me make a circle bow here and make a circle bow here and make a circle bow here very quickly 
and it's another circle at the end to repeat. Okay, and see if you can point those out. might be kind of a fun little game there is another little thing going on in here and I want you to try to leave me some comments if you found out there was one other uh, thing that we've been working on in this in this book I want you to see if you can find it and tell me what it is um, if you have any questions leave me some comments in the comment section uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you are looking at me through YouTube. Uh, share and like this video on YouTube. Um, if you're watching this video on Facebook, then uh, follow me on Facebook. Share and like this video. And again, if you have any questions about this song or any other songs, uh, feel free to leave me questions in the comment section and I will try to answer those with another video. Um, and again, like I said, there is one other little thing that was in this Song of the Wind special. And I want to see if you can find out what it is. All right, until next time, thanks for watching.